country, everybody. I'm James Sabalski for EA Sports. We're in Edmonton, the home of Gretzky, Messier, and this new generation ready to rock. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Flames take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Along the half wall with the puck. Stays with it. Keeps hold of the puck. Scrum along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Nurse. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Flames will play it in their own end. Edmonton's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Calgary's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Passes over to Toffoli. Poked away in the neutral zone by Nurse. Right up the gut into the offensive end. And we'll get a faceoff after the offside call. They're gonna drop the gloves here. Yeah, you bet they are, but he had to jump in. You can't let that other guy stand there and fight. Well, we knew this was coming when these two teams are on the ice, right? Well, that's round 211, <laughs> spanning a long time. These guys do not like each other. Always amazed at how much a fight takes out of a player for the rest of the day. As they get escorted to the penalty box, they've got to try and regroup so they can play again. Even the officials look exhausted trying to get control of this one. Huberto's tape-to-tape -tape zone ability is when he sends firm, accurate passes to keep the play going for his club. Dreisaitl's known for his accurate passing plays. That's his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability, guys, and it's what makes him effective at distributing the puck. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. The Flames look to start the transition game. Poked away at center by Ekholm. Sends the pass over. Quick pass across to Huberto. Poked away in the neutral zone by Ekholm. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And there it is, stopped by Markstrom. Calgary's got a hold of it along the wall. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Just a great defensive read there. And that's intercepted by Ekholm. Hangs onto the puck. Taken by McDavid. Here's a shot! Fantastic save! Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Kane. Makes the save with the trapper! They are really pouring on the pressure here! Here they come on the attack down the left side. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to McDavid. To the front! Sensational stop by Markstrom! You gotta use everything in your toolbox. For him, his biggest asset is his speed. He uses it to create the chance, and the goalie's gotta be sharp to make the save. We got a whistle offside to call. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Still no score in this one. McLeod's won the draw. And no luck on that pass attempt. Picked up along the wall by Tanev. Poked away at center by Nurse. Fogel's moving it ahead. Here's a short pass to McLeod. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. Past the midway mark in this period. Still scoreless in this one. The Flames win the faceoff. Now you got a chance to make something against a tired team. Centers glide into the dot as a faceoff ready to resume play. Uh, 
Calgary's got it, and they're on the attack. Picked up along the boards by Hannafin. And the save! The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Moves it to Fogel. Fires it on net! Puts that one high! Yeah, man, did he ever airmail that over the top of the net? He's trying to go right under the bar. Sometimes the puck sits funny when you shoot it, and you almost lose control of it. Pokes it away in his own end. Takes that pass back at the point. Here's a shot. Oh, what a slick stuff by Skinner. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Moves with the puck in the corner. Pass broken up. Poked away in the neutral zone. All alone! And not much on that one. Here's a rocket or a shot. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Ryan. From the wing, it's moved to center. Calgary's got a hold of the puck. Drives to the paint! The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Puck picked up by Ryan. Costin's got it across the line. Glove save made by Markstrom. Here in the late goings of the period, we're still scoreless. Backlund's won it in their own end. And now he tries to get it across to Mangiapane. Poked away at center by Ekholm. Nice zone entry from the middle. Shot! Oh, and that one pops up short as he just gets enough of that one. Moments away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. Calgary's got it in the defensive zone. The Oilers have it against the wall. Great reactionary save as he gets a toe on that. The Oilers take possession here in the open ice. Moves the puck to Eckholm. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. Grabbed along the board by Bouchard. Here's a shot! And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Sends the pass in front! Fires it! And the puck dies with the trapper save. That'll do it for the opening frame. We've got lots more still in store, so don't even think about going anywhere or rail find you. Opening face-off here in this second period is about set to go. Advantage goalies through the first 20 minutes. Let's see if we get a goal here in the second. Ray, we've already got 20 minutes under our belt here. What are your thoughts of this one so far? Calgary's in a little bit of an odd spot. You can get frustrated here because you know that you controlled the game, but you look up at that $10 million scoreboard and there's nothing but zeros on it. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off. How did he stop that one? Rita, the play was perfect, but it's his quickness that gets out tight to the puck so the shooter can't elevate it anywhere. There's nowhere for the puck to go. Calgary's on the attack, and he comes up with it. And now it's grabbed by CeCe. Quick pass to McDavid. Cuts to the paint. Scores! The captain comes through! Tenacity finally earns themselves a one-goal lead. Now be a little cocky. Play like a front runner. You've got the lead. You've worked hard for it. Puck grabbed by Peltier. And he slides it quickly to Huberdeau. Takes the feed. Here's a last. Misses wide. That's not going to do much good. A shot from the point. It is a howitzer. It goes over the net. Who's going to tip that? Tease it up from the point. Scooped up by Huberdeau. A 
along the wing. Manages to hang on. Skinner's got the puck, and he's going to go for the whistle here. He hasn't had a lot to do this period, but he's been excellent and has been able to control the pace of play. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, Edmonton's ahead, 1-0. The Flames win the draw. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. That's an impressive save, James, because at one point, the goalie totally loses where the puck is, but he stays calm, finds it again, and then makes the save. The Flames cross the line and gain the zone. The Oilers have it from their own end. On the attack, they come down the right wing. What a stop as he puts up the fire. Fogel's exploring options with the puck. Point to point pass. Quick feed to Kadri. Flies it over to Huberto. Here's a short pass to Pelsier. Takes a shot. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Point shot, and that's blocked. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Fogel. Hammers it on net, and it banks off a stick in traffic. Oh, how did he stop that? What a save by Markstrom. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Makes the save with the foot. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. Edmonton's up one zip. The Flames win it in the defensive zone. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Find some space in the corner. Couldn't make the connection on the play. The Flames move to the offensive zone. Aims the zone along the right wall. Here's a pass down low. Can't find his man. And he easily stops that one. Markstrom's locked in. Every puck hits him and stays in front of him. On the odd chance there's a rebound, he tracks that well, too. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Kane. Fails to find the open man. Moves it quickly over to Kane. Here's a chance! And that banks off a stick. Taken by Nurse. Too much congestion in front. Hyman's got it against the boards. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Puck picked up by Manchapani. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Calgary's got it along the wall. Edmonton's got the puck. Can't make the connection on the pass. Dreisaitl's crossed the line and is on the attack now. You'll need more than that to beat him. Markstrom's gonna hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed a cover there. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Oilers have taken a 1-0 lead. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Tosses it on to Toffoli. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Ekholm. Moves into the slot. Oh, he got all of that with a blocker. What a stop by Markstrom. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. And now it's grabbed by Ekholm. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. And he makes the save. Puck grabbed by Nugent Hopkins. From the blue line, they take control of it. Here's a shot. Turned aside with the glove by Markstrom. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Edmonton's won the draw and they'll go to work. Makes the save with the glove. The Flames have it now. Dumps the puck in. Puck scooped up by McLeod. Moves it to Yanmark.
Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. He's Ray Ferro, I'm James Sabalski, and we are ready to get this third period going. Well, the moment of truth for both teams here as we are underway in the third. Ray Ferro is at ice level and gives us his analysis of the first two periods of play. The Flames just haven't generated enough puck possession to grind out some chances. It's one and done out of the zone. That's got to change here in the third period. Tries to the crease. Great stop by Markstrom. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. Picks up the puck. Shot. Oh, what a stop there. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. Oh, another consecutive save. And they'll skate it out of the zone. And a quick tag up, and here they come once again. Misses. Takes the puck here. Look at this, moving to the crease. And there's the whistle, as the goaltender will give his team a much needed rest. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We got a one nothing game to this point. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Nurse. Maintains possession. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Taken by Lindholm. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. To the low slot. Oh, and he gets a toe on that one to keep it out. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And now he angles it across to Kadri. Poked away in the neutral zone by Nurse. Puck picked up by Nugent Hopkins. And a busted twig on the play there. That's where I wish that player was mic'd up. Because not very happy is the next part of that phrase. Kadri's on the ice and he knows his team is trailing here. If he can use his zone ability to turn things around for them, that could be the answer that they're looking for, guys. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Kadri. It's a chance on the rush. Two on one. That pass goes a little sideways. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. Taken along the wall by Echo. Nice zone entry from the left. Goes right to the crease. And that's off target as it hits a body. Quick feed to Yanmark. Oh, the referee's going to call that one. Scooped up along the wall by McLeod. Connect. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Well, this isn't going to help the comeback, but you can get right back at it. But the penalty killers have to do their job first. Edmonton's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. It's been pretty good discipline keeping this top rank power play off the ice, but now that they're there, the game swings in their favor. Sends it into the offensive zone. Yamamoto's lugging the puck. Takes it to the net and makes the routine save. Markstrom's got the puck and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things and he's had an excellent night so far. Lewis slides into the face-off dot and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Calgary's got possession here in their own end. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Grabs the puck here in their own end. And somehow he hangs on. They put the puck into the offensive end. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Oilers have protected the house tonight in front of the goaltender extremely well. I love the way they've played. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed on that one. A oh, good work by those penalty killers in this case. They're able to keep them... Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. The 
goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Sends it in front, misses the net. Penalty coming up here. It's hard to protect the lead. This isn't going to make it any easier now. A penalty taken? Oof. Penalty killers better be good. And their first chance to use the man advantage. Great opportunity to get this game back to level a power play. Trailing by one. This is a huge opportunity. Calgary's won the draw. The Flames gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Here's a chance to get it out. And no luck with that one. Calgary's got the puck. Directed over to Peltier. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. The Flames will play it from the corner. And now it's over to Dubé. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. Dubé's back at it. Looks like the rambunctious part of his game is over, and it's now time to play hockey again. Skates to the crease. Gobbles that puck up with his chest. Takes the feed. In all alone on the breakaway. Scores! What a finish on the breakaway! But he saw a little bit of glimmer of, of room, and he got out ahead of the pack. He's in the clear, and he makes no mistake. Patience and a perfect shot. He looks so confident on the finish. The Flames get a hold of the puck off the draw. Edmonton's got possession at center. Takes a shot. Oh, I think that goes off the mask, and it stays out, and play continues. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. We got a tie game. The Flames win the draw. Calgary's got the puck in the defensive end. And now it's grabbed by Hannafin. Oh, what a chance here. Can they make it happen on this two-on-one? Edmonton's regained possession of the puck. The Flames gain possession. Slides the puck over to Hannafin. Fires one. And the pump check. Oh, smart play. Shot. Oh, spectacular save on the play. Cuts to the front. Now you got the lead. Don't sit back. Get right back to the face off and try and attack again. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Oilers are up by one. You don't like the term protect a lead, though. I, I hate it, James, because that means you're just inviting the other offense into your zone. Play it up the ice. It's way easier to defend 150 feet from your net. Here's a short pass to Lindholm. And that pass doesn't go. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Toffoli. Picked up along the wall by McDavid. Oh, a clutch save! He tracks his puck perfectly to get himself into position for this save. This is not an easy one. Scores! They score back-to-back -back goals. They stay aggressive after getting the first one. They tack another one on here. I'm not sure how that got into the net. That thing's bouncing all over the place. Not even really a shot, but he'll take it. It's in the net now. Here in the late goings of the period, the Oilers now lead by two. Under a minute to go in the third. Nice pass. And he regains control of the puck. Calgary's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. The Flames get a hold of the puck in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Great use of the stick at center by Nurse. And there it is, the empty net goal. Well, that'll put a bow on this one. A solid performance. And once you punch in that empty net, everybody can take a little bit of a breath. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. 
Puck is struck and play resumes. Calgary's looking to break out of their own end. The Oilers take possession in the neutral zone. Handles the puck. Moves it quickly over to Lindholm. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. Puck sent down the ice. We'll get an icing.